21 wins in the regular season and the Razorbacks are heading to the conference tournament with 11 straight SEC wins under their belt. That's a good way to begin. Courtside with Eric Musselman. Arkansas 2-0 this week to wrap up the regular season. And Coach, first congratulations. 21 regular season wins, 11 straight conference victories. That doesn't happen by accident. No, thanks, Chuck. I mean, but it's just so hard to win that many games in a row because it's a grind obviously being ranked 12th in the country, you have a target on your back. And so, um, look, Texas A&M was really fired up to play. We're coming off a great road win uh, in South Carolina. And, and uh, you have to give A&M a lot of credit, but I give our guys a lot of credit too, because down the stretch, when we had to, uh, we really locked up defensively. You know, A&M's a pretty good example of what you just said a moment ago. When you are the hunted now, as you are, everyone gets excited to play the Razorbacks. It'll be that way in Nashville, and it'll probably be that way when we get to the big dance. Well, you, you got to earn every win going forward, and we would assume we're going to be ranked in the top 10, um, you know, hopefully inside of the top 10 come Monday. Um, and so you're going to have to know that every game, not just SEC, NC, you, you, got, you got to bring it because there's extra motivation for the opposing team when you are ranked that high. It's been so much fun to watch this team come together. We were talking on the broadcast today about how no conference losses since the middle of January. That seems like forever ago. Um, but every one of your players seems to be taking pride right now in, 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 in being one that perhaps doesn't let the other guy down. No, and it's just kind of a different guy. You know, just take this week alone, uh, Chuck, the way that Tate played at South Carolina, not very good. Mm -hmm. And then tonight, dominant. Uh, in that game against Texas A&M. So uh, it's a kind of a different guy every night for us. You had a steal. In fact, you had a, a couple of great defensive plays at the end of that A&M game, a steal, a block from Moses. And you figure as you continue to play, there are going to be more critical moments like that. There are, this is the second time that Devo's called the steal. Mm. He called the steal prior to the Kentucky steal that he had. And the night he told one of his teammates, I'm going to get a steal. So we work on that stagger jump. The guy guarding the inbounder stagger jumps. He just doesn't go straight up and down. He fakes, fakes, two jumps in a row. And so that's something we work on. It's something I actually learned from Mike Fratello, that when you guard the inbounder, your job is to get just a little piece of the basketball or obstruct his vision. Well, it was a great play, great way to end the ball game. Arkansas beats Texas A&M, as Coach alluded to. They put it on South Carolina Tuesday over in Columbia. And we've got a lot of highlights as we continue on Courtside with Eric Musselman. Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Unleash a refreshing citrus kick with Mountain Dew. Charge your game with Mountain Dew. Proud partner of Razorback Basketball. Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Ford, the Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Farm Bureau, go with a home team. Joel Embiid is unhappy. Like, really unhappy. Because the internet keeps using not-so-amazing GIFs to react to his amazing highlights. Mountain Dew presents the Joel Embiid Deserves Better Reactions GIF Collection. Now I'm so happy. can't come with you. Ever since they left, my mind's been a little fried. I gotta do this on my own. So long, nacho fries. Whenever Taco Bell takes them off the menu, he can't escape the craving. The whole town was built on bold seasoning. Oh, you don't consume me! I consume you!
available interior work surface to work it out up front, plus the capability of available pro power on board to work it out in back. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Introducing the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. We put faith in our vehicles to connect us. We understand how important it is to have transportation you can rely on. So no matter what the road ahead brings, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. The Razorbacks have reached the final week of the regular season and the final road game is on tap tonight. The Hogs are at Colonial Life Arena and the South Carolina Gamecocks are the opponent. When you think of a nail, right, what do you think of? Toughness, right? People say you gotta be tough as nails, right? Well, what I think of when I think of a nail is I think, what hits a nail? So tonight, are we gonna be the hammer or the nail? We gotta be tough as nails, but we wanna be the hammer, all right? You gotta do that by being the aggressive team and being the more confident team. Everybody got that? All right, tough as nails, here we go, bring it. Hey, uh, this is a little trap, bro, on me. VIP and our own energy, bro. That travels on the road. That energy travels on the road, y'all. Get on that. The Hawks come in having won nine straight conference games, up to number 12 in the national rankings. J.D. Note, booties open on the left wing, three-pointer good. Spin, nice spin move, gets to the basket with a left hand and lays it up and in. Hogs on a run out. Booty ahead to spin, then a one-hand finish on the other end. Carolina zoning off the inbound. Smith at the foul line. Justin pull up, jumper on the way, and it's good. 16 for Smith. Davis flashes for the steal, knocks it to no day, and JD's gonna slam it home. JD into the front court. Davis left side. Desi for three, and it's good. Sills has matched his career high with his fifth three-pointer of the ball game. Frank Martin's got to call a timeout. Arkansas has stretched their lead out to 23. Nelson with the ball for Carolina. Moses steals it away from him. Ahead to Sills, lob to Smith, and a throw down for Justin. It is a 25-point ball game. Moody gets a screen to the elbow. A little floater falls for Moses. That's a scorer doing what a scorer does. 26 for Moses. Jackson left side underneath. Dote from the baseline. Little 10 footers good. And Arkansas is at 101. This one's in the books. The Razorbacks are 20 and 5. They're 12 and 4 in conference play. They've won 10 straight SEC games with one more to play this Saturday. To play your last road game like that and what you're doing right now, people don't win 10 games in a row in this league. It doesn't happen. I could not be, I've never been, never, ever been this proud of a team, ever. And how you're grinding, defending, it's, it's incredible to watch. And it's fun to be a part of. It's really fun. All right, so look, we get back home and we get ready for AM at our place, right? Keep this thing going. Great job, great job. I mean, you know, to lock up the, the two seed and, uh, we had uh, over 300 passes tonight. I've never seen that in the college game. We had 305 passes for the game. We had 154 passes in the first half. Um, so many positive things. Vanover, uh, Chuck with his four blocks. Um, you know, he, he affected the game early on to be five and three on the road in the SEC. You know, phenomenal. Um, we knocked, we converted our free throws, although we didn't get to the free throw line as much as we have been because we, you know, we got, we got open, you know, good looks from the three point line. And um, Moses, phenomenal, 28 and seven. A lot of really positive things. Desi with the career high from three balls. So 
really proud of, of, of the way that we've performed after a really emotional week last week. Let me get two claps in a Ric Flair! Woo! Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Stevens, capitalize on independence. The Saracen Resort, featuring Red Oak Steakhouse. Arvest Bank, member FDIC. And by Walmart. Save money, live better. Walmart. Welcome to the all-new Saracen Resort in Pine Bluff, where you'll be treated like royalty. Enjoy dining in one of our five restaurants, including the Red Oak Steakhouse, which is destined to be known as Arkansas's finest culinary dining experience. The Red Oak features cattle and bison from our own herd in Oklahoma, and the meat is processed in our own facility, the Quapaw Cattle Company. And for the beer lovers, the Saracen has an incredible on-site microbrewery. Arkansas Quapaw heritage since 1673. This is what community looks like. Caring for each other. Protecting each other. And as the COVID vaccine rolls out, we'll be ready to administer it. too smart to fail? When did trend overtake truth? When did putting clients first stop being second nature? For us, never. You can't take a risk in any investment that if it goes wrong and you lose it all, that you endanger the ability of the firm to survive. And that's really what Wall Street forgot. So when do you want to learn more about Stevens, one of the country's most successful investment banking firms? This segment of Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Dillard's, the style of your life. Smith into the front court, five seconds. Justin to the foul line, lobs it for Vanover, and Connor slams it home with two seconds to play. Um, he's just a just an eyeball, the outlier. Nobody can really, you can't really prepare for that. It's just. Yeah, even before before we played against other teams in practice, I was going against them, and you know, just going just going in the lane. He really don't even got to do nothing. He's just in the way. <laughs> He's just them long arms. His head is already at the rim, so he don't got to jump. He just it's just it's just frustrating on the on, on, it was frustrating on me when I was on the other team. So now that we on the same team, I love it. Just watching it on TV, seeing other people play and then going outside and just kind of trying to rec recreate what I saw on TV. I think that's really when I fell in love of, you know, just basketball, of what it was. Um, just seeing the NBA college teams play and just like having the dream of doing that. Um, I think that's really when I fell in love with it. You hardly often see 7-3 guys can really shoot the ball like you do, you know. And he, he's so effective on the defense end. Like, he don't really got to jump to block a person's shot. And like, he brings so much to the table. And we appreciate Connor for coming back to his hometown and putting on. It wasn't very fun to have to sit out and watching everybody else play when I had to just cheer on from the sideline. But it, it gave me a better perspective on uh, how Coach Muss really runs things and how his style of, of play and through practice. And so being able to go through that for basically over a year uh, I think it's really helped where we're at right now because um, everybody else, you know, knows what's going on from me and from the others who have been through it, like me and, and JD and, and Desi and some of the other people who have been here last year. 
Um, so I think it's, you know, it's been a real blessing in, in disguise. Um, I know it's, it's been real unfortunate that I wasn't able to play. And at the end of the year, we didn't really get a good finish of the season because of uh, the coronavirus. But um, I feel like it gave us a lot of time to really work on our craft and really uh, put things together. I've been fortunate to see Connor when I was at TC he used to come by and, and shoot it out gym and come play AAU down there in, in, in Texas. And so I think he was a junior back then. And then I followed him a little bit at Finlay and then he played it for a friend of mine at Cal Berkeley. So I've kind of seen his career from kind of his junior year. You know, his, his ability to shoot the ball with his size, um, you know, it's unheard of. And then his ability to block shots at the rim, not even block shots, but, but chain shots because he's so long at the rim. Um, is different. You know, there's not many 7-2, 7-3 guys out there that you can compete against that have that skill set. And I think the one skill that goes unnoticed is his passing for his size. He rarely turns it over. He moves the ball well and he doesn't doesn't hunt shots. And so he's he's kind of a unicorn as we call him. And, and, and I'm glad he's on, that, on our team. Because there's not many people over seven foot, you know, who can block shots, and rebounds and you know, shoot threes um, and can run through the offense like that. Um, so I wouldn't say he's wrong. Um, yeah, I would just describe myself basically as a unicorn just because I can do things that, you know, not only can no normal person do, but definitely not anybody really my size can do. Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Cox, proud sponsor of Razorback Athletics. Visit Cox.com for exclusive offers. Dillard's, the style of your life. The Saracen Resort, featuring the Red Oak Steakhouse. And by Mountain Dew. Unleash a refreshing citrus kick with Mountain Dew. Charge your game with Mountain Dew. Proud partner of Razorback Basketball. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. Independence, the ability to think freely. It allows you to tell truth from trend, to put clients first, to take the long view. We're privately owned. We don't have public shareholders, and that's the very significant difference between ourselves and other firms. Since 1933, Independence has made Stevens one of the country's most successful investment banking firms. Feel free then to learn more about us. Joel Embiid is unhappy. Like, really unhappy. Because the internet keeps using not so amazing GIFs to react to his amazing highlights. Mountain Dew presents the Joel Embiid Deserves Better Reactions GIF Collection. Now I'm so happy. <sighs> this is what community looks like. Caring for each other. Protecting each other. And as the COVID vaccine rolls out, we'll be ready to administer it. what I'm worried about. I'm worried about you guys going out there and having a great freaking warm up and acting like a pro where you're focused. You have great respect for the game of basketball. You know you gotta earn the game. And you go out and have a great warm up. Then when we gather together after the anthem and after the introductions, then I'm only worried about how are we gonna perform the first four minute segment. That's gotta be our mentality tonight. Every single possession we come at, both offensively and defensively. Got it? Here we go. Right side, booty to the rim and a two-hand slam. Into the front court, Jalen all the way to the basket. They lays it in. Tate determined 
to go from one end to the other. He's got 10 points. Debo underneath Smith. He couldn't get the shot away. Moody's going to drive. Finger roll with two seconds to play is good. Razorbacks trailing at 41 to 38, but they made four of their last five shots in the first half. Moody's open in the left corner. Three pointer good. Moses with his third three. He's got 18 points today. Note drives the other end. Moody kick out in the corner. Moses for three, and it's good. Moses Moody with his fourth three-pointer. He's got 21 today. 55-52, Hawks back within three. Kick out, Note left wing three is good. And it gives Arkansas a 63-62 lead with 9.31 to play. Hawks need a good trip here. Tate, nice move, gets to the foul line. Rainbow jumper, good. And Arkansas's up by three. 67-64, 7.39 to go. Second one's on the way, off the front of the rim, no good. Moody keeps it alive, Moses with the offensive rebound, puts it back up and in. Moody's got 25 and the Razorbacks lead it by three. Bounce pass, Moody, right wing, three pointer good. 28 for Moses. Hogs up 79, 78, 48 seconds to play. Black has it deflected by Davis. Arkansas with a steal ahead to Smith and he throws it down. The Hawks deflected the inbounds. Then they got it ahead to Smith for the dunk. It's 81 to 78. Eight seconds, knocked away. Note knocked it away. Devo at the other end for a throwdown. That provides the exclamation point. Hey, a win's a win. I hope you guys are happy with it because we could be sitting in here with an L just as easy. All right, so great job. You fought through it. In 12 games, everybody in the country stinks one game. So we stunk that game. That's out of our system. Now, now we're not playing with pressure. We get right to the SEC tournament, and then we got the NCAA tournament. You know, to win this many games in a row, uh, there's a reason that a lot of teams don't do it, because it's really hard. Um, and so that's why there's not a lot of 10-game winning streaks um, happening, because it's, it's, it becomes a grind after six, seven games, mentally and physically. And look, I mean, we know that the SEC's tournament's coming up. We understand that the NCAA tournament's coming up. Um, you know, and so it's, that's what we're on to now. You've got to understand you've got a target on your back because you're playing for high stakes now. You're going to be ranked in the top 10 come Monday morning. Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Farm Bureau Insurance. Farm Bureau, go with the home team. By Ford and the Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. And by Walmart. Save money, live better. Walmart. Welcome to the all-new Saracen Resort in Pine Bluff, where you'll be treated like royalty. Enjoy dining in one of our five restaurants, including the Red Oak Steakhouse, which is destined to be known as Arkansas's finest culinary dining experience. The Red Oak features cattle and bison from our own herd in Oklahoma, and the meat is processed in our own facility, the Quapaw Kettle Company. And for the beer lovers, the Saracen has an incredible on-site microbrewery. Arkansas Quapaw Heritage since 1673. With you. Ever since they left, my mind's been a little fried. I gotta do this on my own. So long, nacho fries. I never talk about takes them off the menu. He can't escape the craving. craving. The whole town was built on bold seasoning. No, 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 you don't consume me! I consume you! Available interior work surface to work it out up front. Plus the capability of available pro power on board to work it out in back. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Introducing the all new 2021 Ford F-150.
Joel Embiid is unhappy. Like, really unhappy. Because the internet keeps using not-so-amazing gifts to react to his amazing highlights. Mountain Dew presents the Joel Embiid Deserves Better Reactions gift collection. Now I'm so happy. Well, now the Razorbacks prepare to head to the conference tournament. They'll play on Friday night. Now, wonder about in a tournament situation. You've been in a lot of them. Having a double bye and not having to play till Friday evening, the value perhaps in that. Well, I think especially for legs. You know, we played Justin Smith 40 minutes, you know, in our last game against Texas A&M. So certainly having that time to watch a game and then not get – Tired can be a, a help, but I will say the other team also gets their feet wet. And I thought like last year when we got to play Vanderbilt, I thought that was a little bit of an advantage because you gain momentum. You're, you're, you've gotten into a, a, an atmosphere that's a tournament type atmosphere. And if you win, you've gained confidence. So I do worry about the first five to six minutes playing a team that's already got momentum and how tight are our guys? Because we've got to play loose to start the game uh, on Friday. We've reached the time of the year when every day, everyone's looking at the, the seating lines and wondering when you're going to play. I wonder how you balance a conference tournament with what you know is going to come after that. Well, you've got to really be focused, um, you know, because there is a lot of outside noise. And so we, we talk all the time, you know, about starve your distractions. Uh, we're talking, we have a little thing called voices and choices. Who are you really listening to? Um, even in my own household. I mean, I can't listen to Mariah and Danielle because they're all excited and they can't wait to get to Indianapolis. And, hey, we got a job to do next Friday. And so I think that's what you want. And, and maybe even, you know, that Texas A&M game, it's hard for the players. They know what's coming. And so you've got to just be as mature as possible. And like I said, starve those distractions to the best of your ability. We've talked a lot this year about the mix between younger players and veteran players. But when you get to the postseason, I would think the excitement level for all of them is very similar. Well, the good thing is our freshmen have played a lot of minutes. Mm -hmm. So they're now sophomores because we're not playing them 18 to 20 minutes. I mean, Devo's out there for 30 plus. Moses never comes out of the game. So I look at that like they've almost got two years of experience with all the minutes, those two in particular. And then even Jalen Williams of late has gotten a ton of minutes. Well, there's more basketball for the Razorbacks to play, but this is going to be our final edition for this season of Courtside with Eric Musselman. Coach, it's been such a challenging year for everybody. We've got some wonderful sponsors and crew who have made this show possible. and. Uh, Hey, they've gotten right in the middle of everything, too. No, we can't thank everybody for enough. It's been a great year, and uh, we look forward to postseason play, obviously, and then we look forward to this place, Bud Walton, rocking next year when we get back together. Let's fill it up next season. Hogs on Friday night at 6 o'clock at the conference tournament. Thanks for being with us all season long, and join us again next time for more Courtside with Eric Musselman. <music>